What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. A War versus Sharon took place uh, yesterday, man. Very, very close battle, I'm going to say. Very, very close battle, man. Let's get right off into this, man. Now, A War going up against the so called Smack Killer. Now, the thing about Sharon is, Sharon been on a tear, man. Sharon is definitely a threat when it comes to battle rapper. You take him lightly, you're most likely to get killed. So you got to take this brother serious when you book with him, and you have to take advantage of the shot they're giving you. A War coming in 2019, man, on fire had a crazy 2018. One of the one, one of my favorite battle rappers that I'm looking forward to uh, seeing this year and seeing could he pick up where he left off at in 2018, being one of the most um, one of the most um, improved battle rappers of 2018, man. The brother doing going crazy in 2018, so he won me over. I became a fan of him in 2018, man, which make me want to see could he keep it up in 2019. And here it is. He going up against Sharon, a worthy opponent who called himself the smack killer. Actually had a lot of debatable, controversial battles pertaining people in a URL hanging with these brothers. Anytime you 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 of a different nationality and you can hang with these brothers to the point that they say you either win or made it debatable, that's success within itself. So Sharon definitely is a worthy opponent, just like uh A Ward is at the same time. So this battle I was looking forward to seeing. So it comes on man. A Ward rap first. Um a War rap first. He started out, man. It was okay. It was light. I thought his first round was light. It was light. It wasn't really as. It was okay. It wasn't bad. It wasn't good. It was just okay. And that's not good enough when it comes to a battle of this magnitude. You have to come with three rounds and come with three rounds solid when you're going up against people like Sharon, man. Because Sharon is not going to play with you. Sharon like to uh, 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 capture the moment, man. And the brother, that's exactly what he did in round one. I thought round one, A-War round was a little light. I only gave A-War 14 points in round one. Sharon come on. This definitely is a beatable round. Sharon come in and Sharon took advantage of that, that uh, moment. And he Grab hold of A Ward and he just let loose on A Ward and just snatch and, and, and sway the momentum in his favor. I gave A Ward 23 points to A Ward 14 points in the first round. Sharon up one zip going into the second round. Will A Ward be able to tie this thing up? Going to go into the third, 1-1. One, one. Or would this battle be over already in two rounds under uh, uh, within um, 12 minutes? With that being said, A-War come on. Step it up a bit. He step it up a bit more so better than he did in his last round. He did this uh, Sharon impersonation, man. It was nice. It was on point. He broke Sharon down as far as like his style. He always say this setup. Then he take a current event, mix it in that. That's exactly what Sharon was doing. I gave A Ward, man, um, 17 points in the second round. His second round was better than his first round. I gave him 17 points. This is the A Ward that I had grown to like and was like, okay, A Ward, he, he that truth. Sharon come on with a rebuttal, um, with a rebuttal. It was nice. He had a nice rebuttal. You know what I'm saying? Um, then Sharon come in. He had a he had a solid second round. It was okay. It wasn't good enough to be A Ward's uh, second round though. I only gave Sharon 15 points in the second round. Then going down to the third. I got it one one going down to the third right now. Sharon and A Ward. A Ward come in the third. A Ward had a setup. He had it set up about Sharon, and it was crazy. I'm talking about it was crazy, man. And um, he was in his bag, man. His third round, he just got the, he he just got the going off. This was this would be his best round of the night. 
this would be his best round of the night. And if, and, and, and if Sharon was going to win this battle, he would have to top what A Ward did in that third round. A Ward come in the third round, man, and A Ward let loose, man. A Ward let loose and was showing why was the difference between him and Sharon and how Sharon just so basic and why he more creative and strategic. And his setups, his angles, his wordplay, it was very more strategic and better than uh, 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 Sharon's was. Sharon come in on the third. He had a rebuttal. It was so-so. It, 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 it was so-so. It wasn't fire. Could have fell flat. And he started out real slow in his third round. Then he tried to get it back like close to the end. He was cracking a few jokes. Wasn't good enough, man. I only gave Sharon 12 points in the third round. 12 points to Award, 22 points. I gave Award 22 points in the third, and I gave Sharon only 12 points in his third round. I think he dropped the ball. I think Sharon, he started to decline every round. Like his first round was fired, then second round. His first round, I scored him 23 points. His, his first round scored him 23 points. His second round scored him 15 points. His third round, I only scored him 12 points. When in A-Ward, A-Ward turned up every round. A-Ward first round, I gave him 14 points. His second round, I gave him 17 points. His uh, uh, third round, I gave him 22 points. So you see the difference? Sharon started out strong, but then to and, and began to decline as the round in, rounds went on. As far as A War, A War started out okay, but he began to incline as the rounds went on. So Sharon went down, A War went up. A War won this battle. A War won this battle 2 1 over Sharon. I gave A War the second round and the third round, and Sharon only won the first round. This was an okay battle. It was an okay battle. It wasn't replay value. I wouldn't say replay value. I don't see no replay value in it for me. But it was okay. And once again, A Ward continued to pick up where he left off at with another victory to start his 2019 off over Sharon. Can't wait to see what he got what he got going on on the um URL. Wasn't he on that band Legacy? I ain't, I don't know or not if he was on that band Legacy or how he did. Somebody let me know in the comments. Uh, but A War definitely won this battle over Sharon. Congratulations to A War. He did his thing, man. Sharon dropped the ball in the third round. Started out a little sluggish and slow. Try, he thought he tried to do a rebuttal where he bought out Oxymiron and dude from Don't Fly. It, 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 it just didn't go right. It just didn't really go right, man. And um, A War won this battle, man. And it's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment. That's a question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth, man. And check out that Hitman Holler and Battle Truth interview that just dropped. It's a crazy interview, man. Um, now I holler at you, deuces, man. <laughs>